Yes, sir. Welcome to On the Road Again with Raymond Tyler. And I'm Raymond Tyler, but I'm here with Bobby Nichols from BJ Tours. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about BJ Tours? Yeah, Ray, be my pleasure, sir. Yeah. I'm Bobby Nichols. I'm the chief cook and bottle washer for BJ Tours. For over 25 years, uh, we provided wonderful trips for people in the South Jersey area. Um, we have some great things to come up. Every year we do the Newport, Rhode Island Jazz Festival, Lobster Feast, and we sell out by December. This year is sold out. Tickets for 2025 will go on sale in September. But we do have some wonderful things still going on. Like we have our Christmas cruise leading out of Bayonne, New Jersey. Wonderful cruise. We've been doing, this is the second year doing it. Last year we sold out and we still have cabins for this year. Next year, 2025, We'll be going to New Orleans. We'll do, be doing three days in New Orleans and a five-day cruise on Carnival Cruise Ship Line. Give us a call. We'll let you know the prices and things. Finally, we still have cabins available for our Mediterranean cruise. We're going to London in September. Um, Royal Caribbean is having a special this week, and we can get you a great price on going to London. It's London and some French ports, and our last port of call will be Paris. Fantastic. Wee oui, wee, oui, monsieur. And finally, for Valentine's Day 2025, we're going to Jamaica. Give us a call. You can reach us at 856-371-4844. Love to have you join us. Thank you. Now, that's a lot of great information. How did you get involved and how did you get started with uh, running tours? And Because uh, I believe you started off with uh, doing bus trips. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, we started doing travel, and I'll tell you, it was a strange way. Uh, for 40 years, I worked for the Federal Aviation Administration, uh, also known as NAFAC. It's now called the FAA Technical Center. And in the early days of my employment, we started an African-American um, uh, employee organization. It was a national organization, and we started a chapter at the Tech Center. And the president was my best friend, and he asked me if I would be the fundraising person. So we started off selling candy. And then after that, we started doing little day trips. Then we started doing weekend trips. Then we started doing cruises. And I said, ah, I got a niche for this. So I found a company that took me under their wing for five years. And they taught me everything I needed to know. And then eventually, five years after being with them, I broke out on my own, got my own license and insurance. And now we're an LLC. And we've been very successful. This last 18 months, we've had, we did almost 200 people in cruises. We did a couple of really large cruises to Alaska, Barbados, and our Christmas cruise last year, we had 85 people. And we're also doing that same cruise this year. Um, I enjoy the work. Um, I like helping people. I like people coming back telling me, hey, we had a wonderful time. And word of mouth has been my success. Why are cruises so... Um for lack of a better word, popular or, or hot right now? Well, one reason is because it's all inclusive. You park your car, you put your wallet in your pocket and you're safe and you don't need anything. All your meals are included and you can buy your drinks and you can buy drink packages if you want to. Uh, but it's so convenient and yeah, nobody has to cook. You don't have to clean your room and you can eat wherever you want to. They have um, multiple restaurants. They have buffets upstairs if you don't want to go that, to a sit down restaurant. And uh, you can also buy upscale restaurants, like say if you want to go to the lobster house or a steakhouse or something like that. And they normally run anywhere from 20 to 25, 20 to 35 dollars more uh, for those meals per person. What would your advice be to someone who has never uh, taken a cruise or been a part of a travel uh, trip like this before? What are some of the things that they need to know? Like for instance, your trip to uh, London, uh, if they don't have a passport right now, uh, would they be out of luck as far as this trip is concerned? Yes, they would. So anything that uh, does not touch a U.S. port, you have to have a passport for. So, like, say if you did something out of Miami or Bayonne or New York, you could get away with a birth certificate and a, picture, a government picture ID. But if you go to Europe or if, it, if, if the cruise originate in the Caribbean islands, you have to have a passport. All right, and how can people get in touch with you to get more information about uh, BJ Tours and all the great things you have coming up? Sure, just give me a call. Phone number is 856-371-4844. Day or night, you can call me. 
Anything you want to add before I let you go? Yeah, so of all the things I've done in, in travel, and I've been blessed to do a lot of places and go places I've never thought I would go to, but cruising is my, my first love. It's just so relaxing uh, to sit up on the deck and enjoy the water, um, the service, someone cleaning your room, a choice of where you want to eat. You can do as much or as little as you want to. And for those who say, I don't want to go on a, on, on a cruise because I can't swallow that water, eh, I never had a problem. I think in the 30 cruises I've done in my lifetime, I've only been in two where I got seasick. And one of them was like the day after 9-11, we went out of uh, New Jersey and we went to ba um, we went to Nassau, went into the worst storm I've ever seen in my life. And that's the only time I really got sick. Uh, but they gave me these little pink pills, took two of them, and I was hungry as a bear after that. And that did not deter me from going on you know, multiple cruises again after that episode. Thank you for, for taking the time to talk to us. I appreciate it.